is general reading. This may or may not resonate. Okay, if it doesn't, check out your other placements. If you need a personal reading, all that information is going to be below. So, Capricorn, overall energy, we have the Six of Wands in reverse. Something's not moving forward, all right? There is a lack of failure. There's a lack of, um, there's a lack of success, okay? Something's not moving forward. You didn't get victory in something, all right? This could be someone who's quite egoistical that you're dealing with. Either you're being egoistical or the person you're dealing with has a lot of ego. Mm. We'll see. But yes, this definitely deals with someone who probably did not get the attention that they seek before and probably they want the attention and could be coming back for more attention. Okay, this is definitely an attention seeker. Something, <coughs> this this could have been something that you, uh, like I said, right, had a big fat failure with, okay, with someone. <clears throat> In the past... I see the Ten of Pentacles. Uh, this is in the past. I think things were quite stable and secure. You could have uh, your relationship or connection could have reached um, a point of stability and commitment. This is a happy family card, a marriage commitment card. You could have got committed in the past or you were almost there. Uh, you reached that secure. Um, you made that uh, secure uh, position in the person's life or you know you felt very secure with this person okay almost if this wasn't a marriage it definitely was a long-term commitment or it was almost like that all right this is just the energies of the cards okay right now coming into the current moment we have the seven of swords here um yes the seven of swords can talk about someone being sneaky and deceptive but uh, there's lies and deception. Yes, there is. But um, we'll see. I don't still see a third party situation. I don't see cheating. But yes, this can also be someone trying to be extremely strategic in their moves. Okay. Someone who's trying to make their make their moves very, very silently. They're keeping the moves very quiet. They, they're very quiet about what they're doing. Okay. What's challenging this is the temperance. Okay. So someone's being extremely patient with the temperance card help. This is uh, having a lot of compromise. A lot of cooperation and compromise, all right? This is someone who's having patience, someone who's trying to find a balance within their life, okay? So it could be that this person is trying to avoid or ignore this connection because they want to maintain balance and probably they feel that every single time you guys go together, it's just like, whoosh, like, you know, there's like, you know, like bombs exploding on both sides. On your mind is the nine of pentacles okay single independent okay this is a single uh woman card okay she's got her shit together she's working she, she's she's got everything okay that she needs to make oneself happy she's not dependent on anyone this is an extremely independent energy okay so either this is you who's wanting to just live an independent life or this is the person you're dealing with okay who's absolutely single and wants to be single okay could be probably because that's why they're trying to ignore this connection the reason for the reading is the five of wands. Like I said, right? A lot of conflict. If not conflict, if this is not external, this can be external conflict. This is two people not being on the same page. But the vibe I'm getting, it could also be that someone is very conflicted in their head. Okay. This is like a constant struggle and strife. Okay. There could be a lot of competition to get this person. Maybe you feel it's too much competition to compete with this person. Uh, and you don't want to fight for it. But otherwise, this is a lot of tension, all right? And this could be uh, a lot of challenges or there could just be, you know, someone who's dealing with a lot on their plate, okay? There's someone who just has a lot going on, a lot of drama going on in their life, too much pettiness, and they're probably not really interested right now and that's why they probably want to be single, all right? <clears throat> um coming into the future we have the hermit here okay so i think someone's going to be withdrawn someone's going to withdraw from this connection and take a moment uh this is yes this is withdrawing energy this is isolating yourself but the good part is this is self-introspection okay someone's going to give this a thought coming into the near future i feel this is someone who's not letting go of this connection but i feel for the present moment because of too much drama either too much drama or too much conflict in their head right they're choosing to be single and independent and they're purposely trying to strategize of how to come towards you or you're strategizing how to come towards them and 
along with that they're having a lot of patients okay this is someone who's who who um uh believes in divine timing all right okay now we're going to go ahead and clarify the cards but someone's definitely being very egoistic okay with the six of wands in reverse as the overall energy yes okay I have the six of wands in reverse. What is the six of wands in reverse? Why are things not moving forward right now? I have the six of wands in reverse. The six of wands in reverse is also someone you know what who also wants all the attention, uh, because without even doing the work. Another meaning can also be that you know what you're not feeling supported enough to move forward with this person. Okay, you feel you don't have um all the support you need to move forward victoriously. Apply for the six of wands in reverse. Mm. See? So that's the challenge. We have the full, we have the knight of pentacles in reverse and the moon in reverse. Mm. Yes, there is someone here who wants to take a leap of faith. All right. They want to take a leap of faith. but with the moon card i think out here you know there's someone who's blocking that intuition i feel there's someone who's blocking that intuition there's you know a lot that is hidden within them and um they're just not being able to say they're not be, they're finding it extremely hard to trust their intuition right now the fool is someone who is a risk taker okay they don't have the fear of the unknown so it could be two okay i feel there's no forward movement because one there's someone who wants to take a risk but at the same time there and and probably this is someone you know who wants to take a risk and with the moon in reverse it could be that someone's releasing the any fear anxiety they're releasing something okay if there was any secrets they're releasing the secrets the secrets are coming out they want to take the sleep of faith but with the knight of pentacles in reverse this is someone who's coming in with not someone who's not offering any stability okay this is someone who's not ready to give a commitment as yet okay could be someone extremely stubborn like i said okay six of wands in reverse knight of pentacles in reverse someone's just not ready i'm getting okay someone's not ready there's someone's not putting in the work and that's why there is a delay in this offer okay things have come to a complete halt and uh the other way also how i look at it is that this is someone who's ready to make that leap look when the knight of pentacles is in the reverse it's in the upright ones all right so i feel this is someone who's ready all right they're ready to make this change but they're very very afraid to jump in it all right so that can be one word i think that's what i'm getting they're not stepping up their game someone's not stepping up their game okay they want to take the leap of faith they want to release whatever is holding them back but they're not ready to step up this game and that's why things are not moving forward that's why there's a lack of victory someone needs to step up their game capricorn it's you or it's the person you're dealing with someone needs to do that yes they don't fear the unknown anymore yes they 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 think you're worth taking the risk but what's the point of taking the risk when you're not going to put it into action right the knight of pentacles is anyways the slowest moving energy of the deck and the reverse it's just not fucking moving all right it's like yeah i want to go ahead i want to do this let's go let's go but then your foot is on the brakes what the hell are you expecting <laughs> all right clarify for the 10 of pentacles Life at the Ten of Pentacles. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here in the past? Okay. We have the Five of Swords, the Love, Five of Swords in Reverse, the Lovers, and the Ace of Cups. All right. Like I said, right? There could have been a renewal in love. There could have been a renewal in love. There could have been. A new love, but I don't see this as new love. Okay, because with the, I mean, and you have the lovers here. So yes, this was your soulmate. This is your soulmate. And with the five of swords in reverse here, I feel you did reconcile in the past with this person. Okay, five of swords in reverse, the lovers and ace of cups. Yes, there was a renewal in love. You realized this was your soulmate, and there was a lot of commitment and a lot of steadiness and a lot of security in your relationship in the past. Okay, things were like pretty much perfect. Okay, you opened up your heart. You realize they're your soulmate. If you believe in that soulmate twin flame shit, and with the five of swords in reverse, I feel if there was anyone who was playing mind games, they stopped playing their mind games. They they threw their swords, and they were like, you know what? I don't want to fight anymore. Okay, like let's reconcile. And um, there was a renewal in love in the past. 
things got really better. And then what happened? Like what the fuck happened all of a sudden? Life of the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here in the current situation? What is the Seven of Swords? I think the Seven of Swords. See? Wow. Wow. Page of Swords in reverse. Page of Cups in reverse. The Strength in reverse. Fuck. This is someone clearly ignoring and avoiding the connection. All right. Page of Cups in reverse. Definitely, there is a lack of communication with this person, you and this person, or there could be someone you know who doesn't want to make any unrealistic moves anymore. Okay, with the page of swords in reverse, you're someone watching you, but from a distance. Okay, this is someone who could be a liar, someone who's very de de deceptive, but this can also be someone very impulsive. Okay, so when they want to talk, they'll come and they'll just talk something impulsively, and then they'll regret it. All right, and with the page of cups in reverse, you're someone's extremely emotionally immature. And with the strength in reverse, just someone's throwing their hands up in the air, okay? They're just throwing the towel. Like, you know what? Fuck it. This is not happening. So instead of giving closure or instead of giving a, a decent answer, you know what? I'm just going to be convenient. I'm going to be an escapist. I'm sorry, Capricorn, if this is not you. This is the cross watcher, but I'm just going to say it out like I see it, all right? Yes, this is someone to me who is being an escapist, all right? Yeah, like, okay, I'm just going to watch you from a distance. I'm not going to talk. And I'm emotionally very, very immature. I'm with the strength in reverse. I'm just giving up. I don't have the fucking courage to fight for this. So guess what? What I'm going to do? I'm going to be brave by ignoring this connection, by avoiding it. That's a very, very shitty attitude. Very shitty attitude. Fly for the temperance. Fly for the temperance. Fly for the temperance. Okay, so because you have a lot of patience, Capricorn, we have the Knight of Wands in reverse, we have the Knight of Swords, and we have the King of Wands. Okay, now look at the fuck up, all right? All right, just to put it out there, sometimes I say bad words. If it offends you, off the channel, guys, but I hope you stay. Hope you stay. All right, with the King of Wands here, yes, this is someone very, very determined to get what they want. All right, the King of Wands, he goes for it. All right, he's not going to wait for anything to happen. He's an executioner. All right, he doesn't plan. He's in the next step. Okay, he takes action. All right, he knows what he wants. He's got a lot of suitors and he's got that passion. He's very passion driven. All right, with the Knight of Swords here, I feel okay. So I feel here with the Knight of Swords here and the Knight of Wands in reverse. I feel there's someone here who's extremely conflicted in their head. Again, this is not clarifying the five of wands, but this is the root of the issue. All right. Someone is showing patience. Yes. But with patience, what's going on in their head is that one moment they have their foot on the brakes and one moment they have their foot on the gas. All right. It's like, should I, should I not? Should I, should I not? Should I, should I not? So this is the king of wands here who's, extre who's extremely conflicted in their head. Okay. Someone wants to take action. But they're still very conflicted. There's so much of conflict here. Okay. There's so much of conflict here. But yet, there's a lot of patience around this situation. Okay. This could also be that one person is showing a lot of patience because they're trying to strategize of what to do next. Because we do see the hermit coming in uh, the future. Okay. So there's someone who could also strategize. Not always an escapist, but someone who's trying to strategize. And that's why they're showing so much patience. But along with someone who's showing the patience, right? There's the other person who's going nuts. They're going, they're all over the place. Knight of Wands in reverse, more impulsive and reckless energy. Knight of Swords, impulsive. King of Wands, someone, you know, who's like an action taker, all right? So, yeah, it's very conflicted, very conflicted. They want to take action, but then they're not sure. They, you know, like, then they're not sure, but then they want to take action. It's like, okay. <laughs> all right. Fly for the Five of Wands. Let's see if this is more people involved in your situation. Or is this you two guys, or is it just... An internal conflict. Clarify the five of wands. Clarify the five of wands. Clarify the five of wands. Yeah, it is internal conflict. With the high priestess in reverse, the ten of swords in reverse, and the seven of pentacles. A lot of waiting and watching. Severe conflict in the head, a lot of waiting and watching. Should I, should I not? Should I invest? Should I not? Should I invest? Should I not? This is someone who's planted their seeds and they want the results now. I want to know now. No, not happening. This is 
someone who is going to wait okay and if you capricorn if you are waiting for someone to come in they're extremely highly conflicted okay this person needs to get their head examined this is severe conflict okay like level 100 10 of swords in reverse is someone is recovering from an ending okay this is someone who's trying to get over an ending a very painful ending i must say someone could have felt backstabbed and betrayed and now they're recovering from that betrayal okay and with the high priestess in reverse there could have been something that has been revealed there's some information that has come up to the surface. Someone could have just started opening their mouth, okay? It's because the high priestess is someone who's the secret keeper. She's badass, okay? She says, she, 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 she knows more than she says, okay? But now with the high priestess in reverse, yeah, I think someone's just started opening up. They're finally going to talk because now they're trusting the logic more than intuition. The high priestess in reverse also to me is someone who finds it very, very hard to trust their intuition, all right? The Ten of Swords in Reverse, definitely recovery. Someone's trying to get over that pain, okay? And they're waiting and watching. Probably there's someone who is waiting and watching with the High Priest in Reverse if you come and make the first move. Because they're conflicted. They're seriously conflicted in their head about whether they should make the move or not, okay? One moment they want to, one moment they don't want to. But I think the root of the issue is that they're waiting. You guys are not on the same page. Could be, and there's a lot of conflict, ego battle. Like, no, you talk first. It's like, no, you talk first. It's like that. So I think someone's waiting for the other person to open up while they sit here and get over this betrayal and pain and they're waiting and watching. See, this is what the screw up is, right? No one wants to be the mature one here. No one wants to be mature. And with the seven of swords, you're escaping a situation and trying to call it like, oh, look, I made a decision or look, that's the solution I got. Escaping a situation is never going to be a solution. So you know what? I feel that way is someone's just keeping you, you know, they have one foot in the door, one foot outside the door, and one foot inside the door. Okay, that's not right. You're, you're keeping someone on hold. Okay, that's not right. And then tag it with the temperance, right? Fly for the hermit. Why will Capricorn experience the hermit in the near future? Fly for the hermit. Fly for the hermit, please. Again. The Knight of Swords in reverse, the Emperor in reverse, and the Devil. Capricorn, you show up. Hello. You show up in your reading. I like that. Again, not ready to talk. Someone who's holding back information, someone who's holding back communication because they either, they don't want to talk, they're missing an opportunity. Someone's going to miss an opportunity here. Just let me put it out there, okay? There's a lot of missed opportunities here because someone's just constantly holding back. Whatever the reason may be, okay? This is someone who is, you know, waiting. Okay, it can go two ways. One, either someone's not opening up intentionally and there's a lack of communication, there's a lack of movement forward or there's someone who's just waiting to speak up at the right time, all right? With the emperor in reverse here, I feel this is someone who's extremely, extremely stubborn and this is someone who's a control freak, okay? The emperor is someone who's very, very, it's very hard for you to shake their uh, mind, okay? You cannot make them budge. So extremely stubborn, egoistic, angry, holding back communication, missing an opportunity. I feel with the Knight of Swords in reverse, you know what this emperor is like? Like, like, fuck it. It's a missed opportunity. It's a missed opportunity. It is what it is. That's fine. I'm not going to talk. You talk first. A lot of ego, a lot of arrogance, okay? And with the devil here, oh, hell to the fucking, yeah. This is toxic as fuck, okay? They are obsessed with you or you're obsessed with them. But along with obsession, I see this is extremely toxic. Look, you guys are changed, chained to each other. We did see the lovers. A soulmate connection, yes. The devil is also a kind of a soulmate connection. But it's just unhealthy. Okay, it's coming from a very unhealthy place, all right? So this person feels very obsessed with you, but at the same time, they're not budging. They're not going to open their mouth. And that's why they're withdrawing their energy. They're going within and trying to find answers. They know, they know. Whoever this person is, they already know that this is toxic. They know it's unhealthy. They know they're obsessed with you. But they're just, guess what? I'm the emperor in reverse. I'm just going to be an asshole and sit back on my throne. And I'm going to hold back communication. That's fine if I lose you. I'm just going to lose someone who's going to be irreplaceable. But uh, that's okay. I'm still the emperor. You're a fool. I mean, whoever that is. No offense, cross watchers or a Capcom. 
Okay, Capricorn, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Let me know in the comments below if this resonated for you. And uh, please like, share, follow, subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.